Wow, man, it does me a great honor to be here this afternoon. Hey, this is Kijana Owens again, the grindologist, Dr. Grind. Success Express Market Solutions. I got an amazing, uh, legendary uh, gentleman uh, on my interview here series today. Happens to be a very, very, very uh, close to, to me in, in spirit and heart and in, in DNA. Uh, he is uh, well known around, especially Southern California, but specifically there in Pasadena, California. We call him the, the, the local mayor, right? Making a difference since way back, 70s, uh, absolutely. Not to give away the young man's age, but uh, I don't want to hold you real, real long, but I did want to hold you strong just to get ready to bring this young man up. Honor, uh, a privilege and pleasure to introduce us some and present to others. My father, Mr. Roscoe Lee Owens, world-renowned artist, speaking in the standpoint of art by R-O-R-L-O. -O. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Kijan. How are you doing? Man, I'm I, I amazing. What, what better honor it is, is it that uh, uh, to get to interview your father and the amazing things that he's been able to do. I'm absolutely honored this afternoon. So the platform is all about you. We want to tell people about they a lot of people know you or know of you, but today we want to take a, a, a moment just to let people know, you know, a little bit more about Roscoe Leon's your vision and your great gift of artwork. Sir, tell us a little bit about who you are. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in this vision of the art and the arts. I've had the opportunity to uh, work with many world-renowned artists for many years, working with the Pan-African Film and Art Festival and the African Marketplace, and also the uh, LA Black Expo, working with artists that came from all over the world for many years. And it was very, very rewarding. And um, years later, as I was retired from the work that I was doing as a behavioralist and working with the artist, something clicked. It's almost something that my dad said, something clicked that I needed to do. And uh, I was walking in uh, Montclair Mall and there's a gallery, which is called the Pomona Valley Art Association. And I sat down and talked with a few folks, a couple of them were retired and I decided that day that I was an artist as opposed to just being a supporter of artists. And to really look back at it, I was an artist that wasn't creating visual art, but I was an artist creating uh, energies and activities and movements in the art field. And uh, so through that, I ended up developing the work that is in my background right now that you see on Zoom, uh, it's created by the thought that nothing is ever dead. It's just recycled, reutilized. So the work behind you, you see, first of all, I'm a framer and all the frames are recycled plastic. The works are some of my photo imagery of the work that I created, the one uh, to my left, or maybe to your right as I'm, I'm looking over uh, at it, it's, it's got a saxophone in it, but what it was, was a fallen palm frond, the, the bark that falls off of palm trees. And I took that and I created this whole imagery and the whole imagery that I initially created was in honor of my father, who was an artist as a musician. And so I took that and I created that. The piece right in the middle was a aspect of a desert flower that I took an image of and called that the leaf of the desert flower. And it's based on recycled cardboard because cardboard has an aspect of just lines. It's called corrugated. But if you look at the corrugated, you'll find the fields that people fix our food 
are corrugated lines. These are lines of division in terms of our mind, how we segment different parts of us. They're corrugated lines. So we focus. And so I took that corrugated cardboard, immersed it in water, created what I wanted to create. And the other is another palm farm to the right that was initially for my dad. What he said was, I got my eye on you. And that was my start and what I'm doing. What I'm doing music is art right now. Amazing. Now, I, I wanted to get that preface out of there. But since, since you are my father, and I'm, I'm going to have a, a, a no good time. Let, let the people know who you are. The DNA is real, right? And I got Dr. Grind, Grindology. You put that, in, but you, more than just art, people don't know. You, you've had a purpose with the art. You've held artists since I was a kid. Uh, Cynthia St. James, Barnett Honeywood. Uh, 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 I don't want to even just get into the name so much, but Mr. Lee, uh, Charles Bill, I mean, uh, amazing. And I'll let you go down the litany of, of, of the list of all the great artists that you've uh, helped uh, or opened doors or worked with, partnered with, watched, mentored. They've sewn into you, all, all kinds of the relationship, decades and decades and to get to where you are. But you did that to make an a, a, a impact because you're always out there helping people, inspiring others a internally. Share with the people why it's even important to put what you feel on paper like you just so described with what the cardboard stands for. You know, um, in looking at art as you go further back in our history in terms of time, um, African-American artists weren't celebrated and the art were the value wasn't there in terms of it increasing in value. But uh, uh, that uh, totally changed, in my opinion, a lot with the public, with Ernie Barnes and Barnett Honeywood uh, coming across as social media does now, that it was a TV, uh, them being on sitcoms and on television, whereas you're watching uh, Dr. Constable and in his house, he's got these beautiful, works of Barnett Honeywood and uh, JJ, they look at him as the, the, the artist on Good Times, but it was the art of Ernie Barnes, which gave us an insight across America that we need to have art on our walls that represent us. And my objective was to promote and motivate artists to embrace that and to know that their work is valuable and we will be on stage. I have worked with an artist uh, out of Senegal uh, for years and years, uh, Aziz, who now has the Aziz Gallery located in uh, a recognized area that you were a, a small child and I was a young man and that was the Lamert Park, the Lamert Park Village which has become extremely important in our culture and extremely important as art. And uh, Aziz Gallery is, is just being open currently. They're gonna have the works of Charles Bibbs, of uh, several different artists, Alan's work is in there. So, uh, and then I've had the opportunity to work a long time with Aldonia R. Bailey, who is a artist and teacher of art uh, especially with our youth, uh, which has been a major part of what we have been doing, uh, myself in art, working with uh, our young youth and community in terms of not only in behavior, but utilizing art as a venue and a vocal point to establish very successful habits, like the habits that you have which I'm very proud of. Well, this is what, uh, I don't want to put myself in the interviewer category at all, but a good interview brings out what people didn't know. And I'm sure that people didn't know that Roscoe Leon was not just a certified, but a bona fide artist. 
And I'll tell you one thing, uh, you out there, hopefully we inspire someone. If you're an artist and, and or you, you draw stick people, whatever it is, that's art. You just saw Mr. Roscoe Leon speak about the art right behind him where he took a, a cardboard, repurposed it, and made it into something beautiful. Everything has its value. So being able to make that impact, you, you're talking to uh, people out there that don't even know what they have. You, you uh, have been around the world two or three times and back. And it took you to see, well, wait a minute. I've been saying art all the time. And then you saw the art within yourself. And to put something out there that you love, and then there's a difference between amateurs and professionals. You've been paid. That's right. You know, that, that it, it was very interesting in my first sale with some people that came that I didn't even know that began to ask for me through somebody else and ended up purchasing a, a nice a volume of work that had a comma in it that made me smile and said, you know, okay, your work is valuable, even though I took value in it. I took value in creating it because it was a meaningful uh, program that I was doing, which was uh, called the Jazz Art Series. I'm utilizing music, art to emphasize music and music to emphasize art. And I'm utilizing my behavioral background to see how I can uh, influence uh, energies with our youth to to uh, uh, not necessarily be an artist or not necessarily be a musician, but utilize a particular concept to develop their own leadership style and, and personal development. Offering a platform for people, there are amazing opportunities out there everywhere. Everything is a tool to help somebody else. That's the way God designed us all. Everything that we have is for good. You took what you had within yourself, saw the value in it for yourself, put it out to the world. Other people valued it in the term of cash. That's the process of everything. Amazing. Cash out. Now, cash out. Listen. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna share a, a video. It's about seven minutes. Um, I'll, I'll allow you to, you know, share what it is as as I bring it up. Tell us a little about, bit about what we're gonna share here in your art showcase and how uh, absolutely uh, powerful it was. The amount of reviews that you got and what you're doing out there in the community with the PVAA and everything else. Thank you. So just share with us you know, what, a little bit as I put it up, you know, what, what, okay. what you read before and, and what it's about a little bit. Okay. I think this one, PBAA, which I, you know, started to speak of was the Pomona Valley Art Association, which is inside the mall. And right now, the mall has been closed. And this is an opportunity to just share with you what was happening and how we created the art for PBAA and this project right now. Thank you, Kijana. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Oscar This is art by RLL. It's all about a combination and a development of using what is called the, the, the opportunity to be able to understand what relationship currency is about. And that's why I have my very good friend behind the camera, Miss Michelle. Strongly, but uh, why uh, it didn't really come up with me or two or three So, what's going on here? Let me start with her beautiful daughter and some of her work that's here in the gallery. We're just opening today, trying to get everything together. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek as you gaze through and see the work of Miss Tony Strongly. You understand this is back history life. Right? So we want to give an understanding of what we do in terms of who we are and the dignity of thinkers and the dreamers and the families and the fathers. You know, it's really uh, it looks like to me, girl day. Come on with me on the tour as we go through. And then we have what is called our off the wall art. Our off the wall art is located in many locations. And we have, of course, some true thinkers in here. And then we have some praise dancers in here. And then we have the large thinkers. And the Chicago boys. And you know, we've got the high, high, sheer words. 
share where we are. D A A I T dot com. My brother, I'm still praying for you. And then I'm just going to flip over here and turn you around into some original words. Vera Letter and her brother, Raphael, is an oil painting. Aziz, with the flowers, which you can see is an invitation. So come on down. P E A A Art dot com. Aziz. My brother is thinking oil. Original. Down here, we had the Pied Piper, we had the little drummer boy. So we have to tell the story. We have the art by RLO. This is my therapeutic, musical, behavioral presentation of who I am through the dimensions and the depth and the corrugated, which means we're in alignment. You know how they do. We, we grow vegetables, corrugated. We draw that line. That's what we do. But then, you know, I tell them, don't put a jacket on me. But this is the jacket by Aldonia R. Bailey. Beautiful piece of work. Oil as well. And if you see me, still keep the family right in tight. The other man got his family and he's moving forward. Then we have this young man, Derek McCall. That's who's awesome. You know. That's it. It's music time. So let me take you over here. And these are all originals here. Again, this is my awesome wall series. Music. Everything comes playing. All you need is a nail in the wall. We talked about wall series, large pieces, are $100. We made a few of them. It's amazing. It comes playing. The smaller pieces are pretty good. They come from African American. The only true art form in America. We've got a lot of these brothers. And a lot of wonderful sisters. Roscoe Leon, my opportunity to bring forth the music, the arts, the culture, the information of the desert song, Grindism 101 from Jazz Song. A legacy with my father, Jimmy Allen. Check out the play, 1957, on YouTube.
to participate with us in the Pomona Valley Bar Association. Contact me. It's our real Glasgow Leones at jazzhub.net or Success Express to gmail.com. Now, what about that? What about, what about that, Mr. Bosco Leo? I'm sure uh, you remember the day, the time where, where you, you shot that uh, to share with the community out there. Uh, you took the time to tell about the Pomona Valley Art Association and the power of uh, being able to, to help young artists emerge. And your, your, your prowess out in the community is amazing. I appreciate you. Uh, as a young man out here, with as an example of a, of a role model to follow, many many young men I've been able to share you with as a dad. Uh, many young men have been able to look up to you and live in lives of, of, of abundance uh, today because of some of the things that you just by your walk of your walk, you know, not not even uh, intentionally, just purposefully with who you are. God has been able to bless me to have you as as an amazing dad. Now. Before we go, uh, this is a very unique, because generally, you know, it's a very uh, business uh, development, interviews, uh, people out there in the community. It's an honor to do it, but I got you on the line, Mr. Roscoe Lee Owens, man. Right. Gotta okay, tell man. People how to tell people how to reach you. You got to tell people how to connect with you, and you got to okay. tell people what you got coming up next. Okay. I don't know if you can show the uh, the, the website, Art by RLO. It's uh, artbyrlo.com. That's where you can go on my uh, website for art. Uh, it will connect you to another site where you can buy my work uh, 24 hours a day. You can also see there's a page where you can select the works that you'd like and uh, just uh, 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 make a copy of them, send it, text it to me, and we discuss. I have my off-the-wall art series, which is uh, from $40 to $90. That's a whole series that is comes framed, ready to hang, and it is the purpose of that is to be able that I can get positive images in homes that uh, maybe cannot afford original art or even limited edition art pieces. So it is something that they can uh, afford. And uh, on art and prices, uh, Kijana, right there, that would do it. If you click, oh, yes, yeah, sir, right there. And as, as you go down, you'll see their profile. But this is, this is where you can uh, just see the image. And as you keep going down, you'll, you'll see that uh, you can purchase images, you'll see the kinds of things that you like, and it'll give you that. Tells you like 28 by 40, is $90 a size. And you'll see the image and it says, it's framed, ready to hang, just copy the image, text it to me, and I can be sure that we get your information and uh, uh, have that sent to you. Uh, also, you see my phone number there, 626-798. 6848. And I would be very remiss and if I did not share with you, the art is a celebration of the music, which is our other company called the Jazz Zone. Uh, the Jazz Zone is an actually duplicity of who I am as it relates to the creative nature of music and art through this lens of behavioral therapy. And so I appreciate the opportunity to be interviewed. I do look for someone to come and visit our website at rlo.com or at jazzzone, J-A-Z-Z-Z-O-N-E.net and uh, participate, like our page, enjoy us on Facebook and see us on Instagram. And again, thank you, Mr. Kijana. Owens, I was almost going to call you Kijana Lee. <laughs> Kijana Owens, thank you. That's that's our, our jazz on website. And uh, we do make cool jazz sizzle. You're muted.
You are muted. I can't hear you. You're muted. 